All right, so good progress over the last few days. Um, all the alloy fab now is done. Um, so James just finished mocking up the that side intercooler pipe in there. Um, so now it's tear down. I'm just going to weld some AN fittings on the side there for water feed and return for the turbo. Um, and obviously weld up this stuff and sand it back. Still got to match port the intake um, and, and grind it out. But it's pretty much tear everything down. It's all going to powder coating on Monday. Today it's Friday. So I've got tomorrow as my last day before everything needs to be at powder coating first thing in the morning. Um, and the car's going to get its brake lines and stuff done on Monday morning as well. So yeah, pretty happy with everything. So hopefully by Wednesday we can have everything back in the car um, and then start doing TI pipe there, TI intercooler pipe, TI exhaust, TI AST tank, TI filler neck. So might have a bit of welding bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we're both going to have to double team the shit out of all this to get it done, so... But yeah, Jono's still got fuckloads of wiring to do. <laughs> Hurry up, Jono! Come on, <laughs> but no, he's, ma he's making good progress with his loom. Uh, so these will actually be an off-the-shelf item soon as well. He's jigged this off our car. Obviously, if you've got stuff in different locations, um, we, we can allow for that with our jig car. Obviously, everything is all documented. Um, so yeah, very stoked with that. Air tank just showed up, so that's actually going to sit between the strut towers here. Um, I don't know if I've filmed this already, but I've started making a tray here to mount everything all hidden underneath the spare tie well. So the only thing you'll see is the air tank and the boot. Um, surge tank's obviously underneath, the water meth tank's underneath. I'm actually going to upgrade this airbag setup, I think, um, so that it's all in one. I just don't like the idea of having a external chip um, but we'll see how we get on with that so yeah tear down day we got some brake new brake rotors uh, all around super nice but found out that um i've got type uh, type r front brakes or whatever they are so they run a 315 mil disc not a 296 or whatever it is so i put the new ones on and i was like oh shit they're offset and too small so um, lucky another mate had some in stock, so managed to get some of them on the way. So yeah, on Monday it's going to go to safe our brakes, we're going to do the um, brake lines for the front. We usually do it ourselves, but we've just got way too much going on, so they'll, do it. they'll get it done faster than us and probably a lot nicer than us, assuming they do it every day. Um, but yeah, the last look of it before it gets painted, I guess. Can't wait to see it all done. It's going to go, so intercooler, turbo, water pump housing. Fuck your noisy. Yeah. Um, Jesus. So yeah, everything's going to get uh, like a textured black. I'm really amped to see how that all looks. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. All right, so down here on a Saturday, just my goal was today was to try and get the air ride set up, all set up. Um, didn't realize that old mate shortchanged me one of the fittings. So I got the fronts to work, the rears I've just got to change two fittings. All the lines are run. Uh, John and I changed some wiring around. Don't judge me, but we've kind of just made it work for now. And we're obviously going to tidy it all up. But in the box that it came, um, this motherboard was like mounted up the side and then everything was plugged in it, but it was in a box, so it was dust free. Didn't really want to just have that sitting in the boot, so I've just gone down to JCAR and got like a little box, drilled some holes in the side so I can run all the wires in there. Obviously got to tidy a few up, and I got to the last few and I just run them through the top just to get it going. So we're going to mount the compressor at the tank. I f the last, typical, the last thing I did, just a tiny little bit too much and I've put a bit of a crack down the alloy casting which I'm absolutely gutted about but yeah, I put a bit of epoxy over and it seems to be working pretty good uh, all the lines made to the tank got all the pressure sensors all set up um, cut a bit of alloy today so I'm going to mount that in the boot and then so the battery and all the stuff's going to be mounted to that the, the tank, the compressor it's, not hot. it's going to sit somewhere around there and then water meth tank will sit in here with the filler neck that I talked about that will sit out here to replicate the water tank. So everything will be hidden under there, so all you'll see is this compressor, uh, the air tank. 
I'm gonna have to try and make that so that sits right at the bottom obviously so it's hopefully not seen um, but yeah pretty happy so obviously this is the controller I pull that out so we're at full slammed on the front at the moment and that's full height there obviously I can't do the rear at the moment because I'm missing that fitting but So yeah, pretty happy with that. So it's good uh, making goals and just trying to achieve the goals each day instead of looking at the job as a whole because when you look at something this is as big as this, it gets quite overwhelming I guess sometimes. So little things are each day. Uh, we got all stripped down last night, got all the intercooler, turbo set up, everything off. Um, so that's all off over here. Getting ready to go to powder coating on Monday. So sandblasted everything, match ported all the intake, um, so the semi PP intake. Um, so this will go off go to uh, sand, uh, powder coating on Monday. And then Matt's fucking having typical Samara issues with too much oil. Now I think it's um it's got a loose line underneath this oil cooler, so he's actually currently taking it off at the moment to figure out what's going on. Because he drove it here and put the bottom and I had it all down the back, so. And the catch can's full of oil as well, so. Drain that out. So, with four fours and rows, just going to put a turbo Benny on it. Um, and figure out what's going on with this oil cooler leaking. Um, going to probably eventually try and work out some other way of keeping that cooler as well, because the oil temps um, are still quite high. Um, but might just hook up the, the factory water squirter and, and see what that does for temps. The cheaper way of doing it if we have to, instead of having to put another oil cooler on it. But yeah, 500 kilowatt Subi. We're going to take this down to Fours and Rotors as well. So Matt's going to do roll, and race, roll racing. We're going to put on the show and show it as well. Looking like a typical Sabara, all dirty. Hey, it looks like you've been doing rallying in it. Um, so just got the car back from Safe Our Brakes, uh, just had the new clutch line and brake lines made up, uh, usually something that we do ourselves but obviously with the time crunch we're not going to have to get it done. Um, so yeah, so new brake lines up in there, new Brady clutch line. Um, the reason why we didn't use our ABS for leak kit is in New Zealand the rules are the, st the lines have, to, if they're factory steel they have to stay steel, which is a bit of a bugger. Jesus. So windy here today, it sounds like my roof's going to fall off. Um, so yeah, so I've just bunged up the emission ports on the engine. Um, so now I'm going to start putting the intake on, um, upper and lower throttle body, uh, pro turbo manifold, turbo, intercooler rage. So I've start making the lines for uh, um, oil cooler kit. Um, as you can see down in there, so the oil cooler is mounted down there. I'm going to have to remount my spotlights because i got the Series 8 front, um, front bumper support so I'm going to have to probably make another bracket to move the, the lights out slightly to be able to remount them because I quite like the look of them. But yeah, so I'll start putting everything together now and uh, hopefully by the end of the night she'll actually start looking like a car again. So amped to show you guys what it actually looks like with everything powder coated. It looks so good. Like any good build, you can't really do these builds by yourself. So this is a bit of an appreciation post for everyone that's lending a hand. Mez has come down showing us some building techniques to get the false floor made up. Matt's down here getting the, the windows ready for Rick tonight to come do the stickers. And it's off to this man to get polished next week. I can't wait to see it clean, eh? It's going to look good burn day. Oh, yeah. It looks good dirty, but fuck it looks so much better too. <laughs> That's sick. Fizzing to go for a drive. Talk about Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty to get this done. Uh, all the boys on the tools tonight. Rick from Decal Garage is down here doing all the stickers. Maybe up some nice little gold graphics for the wheels as well. Because uh, I think that one's blue and that one's white and it just didn't go with the theme of the car. So. And then the old window banner. Jimmy's doing some TI. 
So I made up the TI intake pipe there, and then TI turbo pipe. Fuck yeah, that looks grouse, eh? Shit, yeah. But good with the weld and the polish up. Hard out. There's gonna be some hours in polishing that bastard. Mean. That's your job, eh? Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> mean. All coming together now. Jono's fluffing around as per usual. Stand up. <laughs> 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 Fucking all those parkies, eh? Mate, <laughs> oh, we can't talk, bro. Look at our workshop. There's <laughs> shit everywhere. <laughs> They yeah, kind of cleaning up for the last three weeks. Three weeks have gone out the window. Um, just head down ass up trying to get other customers' cars done and this thing done at the same time. It's been uh, it's definitely been a challenge. Um, Bodie gave us a hand and he's cut out this uh, new boot floor. So um, this actually this piece here gets mounted um, into the front section of the floor and it just covers the start of the spare tie well. And then this part's on a hinge, so I can still get into where the battery, the water meth tank is, the um, airbag controller and stuff. So I'm just welding some spaces on the bottom of this is, at the moment because this mat's got so much foam in it. So when you bolt it up without that, it just pulls it down and wrinkles the whole carpet. So I've made these spaces up that sit in there so this sits flush with the top and it doesn't pull the carpet down. Um, and then that's pretty much all ready to go get powder coated as well. So yeah, making good progress. Tonight I'm feeling way better about everything. The final touches are now going together on the car, which is pretty cool to see. Um, best thing, you could probably own this car. Um, so I haven't talked about this at all, and I've only really decided this week, but this car is gonna get raffled up. Hey! Um, so, we want to do testing with this car, obviously, and show you guys what we can actually do with this car, what we can do for you as a service as well. Um, so we'll probably do a bit of a tour with it for three months, I think, um, and then we can do some testing with our new setup with the G40. We can learn a lot about our setup. Um, do some testing with Mark. He's super keen to get involved and do a whole bunch of uh, testing with it as well. Jono wants to test a whole bunch of kits for it as well. He's developed a whole... Um, built harness already for you guys so you can get an ECU, ECU mount with the relays, fuses mounted on the box, it fits in the factory location, the plastic cover goes over it so you can't see it and he's made a full loom so the full loom suits at the moment our V-mount kit so turbo setup, V-mount kit, our core kit, um, injectors how we set them up and stuff but we can change them to certain uh, placements of your parts so coming soon we'll have our own looms um, so that's pretty pretty exciting um, we're also going to develop well we've already developed um, a surge tank that mounts to the subframe on the back it's got a water uh, water meth pump on it at the moment but we're going to do just a single surge tank so you can still run in your single twin in tank pumps and then it goes to a surge tank that's mounted on the subframe i really don't like them sitting in the boot um, so i really wanted to have it away hidden away from the car don't have any pump noise really hopefully inside the car even though you're probably not going to hear it with this engine but uh yeah pretty excited about this one I'm, I'm fizzing to show you guys what we've actually come up with this it's been really hard the last three weeks not to share any photos uh, and share any stories about this car um, really cool being able to build a car exactly how we want to do it um, and yeah look at it doesn't look awesome